What's up, y'all? It's Dre Trades in the building. It is Tuesday. It's October 6th. It's 2.24 p.m. And this is what the charts look like, or at least the market look like in the indices. But I want to begin this video like this. With three these three words. I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did. I did, man. If you watched my video yesterday, I talked about my Apple trade. Talked about it. It was like, mm, yeah, yeah, 25. I'm a, mm, mm, woo, woo. You know, all that, right? I'm out. I got out of the position today. Not only that, I got out of all my credit spread positions while they were still making profit. Now, I did take a little loss on the Apple profit. I lost 20 cents. All right. But, um,. <sighs> I, I, I just wasn't feeling it today. If you remember in the video yesterday, I said, the VIX, that's what's worried me. I, 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 I like to trade, but the VIX is what's worried me. Now, we're looking at the VIX right now. You can see right there, it's red. That means it's down. It's doing better. But this morning, it was actually up. So here we are. Let's get off the screen. The Dow was up 133. S&P up 1297. NASDAQ up 23. 0.21%, you know, and the NASDAQ just turned green not too long ago, and the Russell's up. Russell's up 2%, man. Give it up for the Russell. I got to really, maybe I should pull up the Russell in this video, but this video, we're going to talk about Apple. We're going to talk about Peloton because I'm in that trade. Yes, indeed, I'm in Peloton, and we're going to talk about DraftKings, all right? I'm in DraftKings, too. I'm not getting slaughtered because I don't own the straight calls. I own call spreads, but I'm looking to get maybe get a little bit more aggressive when it reaches a certain level of support. So I want to share that with you as well. So here we are, FinViz. You can see the market is actually having a pretty good day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back, let's go back. I want to tell you why. It wasn't necessarily the VIX. Okay, Fed Powell calls, oh, I need more help from Congress. There's low risk of overdoing it, you know? And then we got uh, Apple. I sold the Apple just before just before they came out with an announcement on October 13 event where they expect to reveal some new iPhones, most likely it's gonna be that 5G phone. I don't know what the big deal is. I got a 5G phone right here, you know, whatever. All right, y'all you're a little late to the game, Apple. Anyway, um, uh, so um, what else is going on? Boeing slashes forecast for new aircraft expects pandemic to hurt sales for more than a decade. I actually, that, that, that source right there, I actually got out, I got out of my long buy and hold Boeing position. I'm just going to done. Uh, I'm losing on opportunity costs. There's so much stuff going up. I'm not going to fuck with Boeing until they get that. The airline industry, you know, it's not good, man. There's planes all over the place they can buy. You don't have to buy a new plane. You can buy used planes all over the damn world. Nobody's flying them. So, I'm, you know, and I imagine that's what, what's going to hold back the sales for 10 years. That's crazy, man. These guys had a 10-year book of backlog. Now they got, uh, it's just it's terrible. So that's what actually started bringing the market down. And I was like, so we had that. We had, uh, uh, shoot, I, I, I think that's it. I, I think those are the big, the big stories. So, you know, the market's waiting for that stimulus. You can see what's happening here. And my, all right, my personal opinion, let me give a quick edit. Uh, edit. Let's edit this video. No, what do they call it? The editor's notes. I don't think there's, I still don't think there's going to be a stimulus package. I don't. Why? Should the Democrats kind of negotiate if they almost predicting a blue wave? Why negotiate with the Republicans in the Senate? And in less than 30 days, you may be able to negotiate with the Democratic Senate. You see, now I know they don't leave until like, they don't leave until like think January 1st or whatever. But, you know, once once they realize it's going blue, they'll probably be like, yeah, whatever. We, we're out of here anyway. <laughs> you know, so that's just my personal belief. They probably want to be stingy and, 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 and hold on for another three weeks. To me, it only makes sense. But it's terrible. It hurts the people. So we need stimulus now. I get that. But, you know, with them, I, I just think it's all... It's, you know, just whatever. you They're just playing along, you know. I, I don't know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get along with this video. Here it is. You see the market's actually doing pretty well. You can see the scare this morning, right? And then uh, it just turned around. It's a nice turnaround. It's a great day. And look at the heat map. And it's just the big boys, right? The, the stocks that we're in. The stocks that's causing the market to go up, they're going down. It's usually, it's either them or the others, like right now it's the others that's kind of pulling it, or then it's them, and then the others are down, right? I think yesterday everything was green, if I if I remember, I think everything was green yesterday, which was crazy. So um, 
that's what's going on oh man apple apples nah this has got to be old anyway let's get to the charts man let's look at these damn charts all right so there's DraftKings. we're going to start with apple though let's look at apple and i'm still bullish i'm you know i got out of the position right i i said i'm going to get out at 112 but i just decided to i just don't feel i'm not feeling it man i have to feel i have to feel good about it i don't feel good about it even though i look at this and i say yeah i think it's gonna go explode to the upside i really think you know so we got earnings now we got the october 13th event when is this date so earnings is october 29th so now we got to invent right you know uh right about here you know somewhere in there so you know it'll probably rally it'll probably at least hold its level into that event so we could see the the phone or whatever look 5g phone whoopie do anyway so uh there's apple i just got out of the trade so i feel bad because i put the trade on yesterday i showed you guys but yeah man I'm, I'm sorry i'm just not feeling it i'm just not feeling it and uh so google I, I i didn't mean to bring this up i was in google i got out of this as well i sold put spreads underneath i was doing well i got out while i still had profits i just i'm just not feeling it even though i I like it. I still like being under here selling uh, put spreads. So I said, I said Apple. I said Peloton. That's the stock I'm still in, and I got some concerns about this one as well. So you look at the four-hour chart. See, but oh man, look, I was in Peloton down here. I was, I was down here, man, at the 80 down here. I rode this whole wave up, rode it up, but I'm not feeling good about the wave. I just feel that a check back, we, you know, we came from the bottom of the, the, the box and then the channel, right? And then we got to the top. It was a little, you know, that 100, it was tough to break. And then boom, we have 13% so we broke out. Generally, there's a check back. Now, I know the last six months or so, nothing checked back, nothing. Everything just went, once it broke out, whoo. Nothing. That's it. It was just straight to the moon. Nothing wanted to come back. So maybe Peloton is going to do the same thing. But if the market goes to, I don't know, maybe there will be a check back. And the check back will be all the way to 100. Can you believe that? Or at least a 50% tracement. So like somewhere around 106. So I'm feeling nervous about Peloton, even though I'm still in. I'm still, I'm looking. I've been looking to get longer since the breakout. But every day it's just been up. So I mean, how long is this going to last? I don't know, man. There's the four hours. Let's look at the day, right? There's the daily. Let's look at the month, the weekly. And you could just see how it just gets uglier and uglier, it, even though it looks great. Look at that. Look at that, man. Just unbelievable. Is that, I don't know how long that's sustainable, but this market's crazy. It then could be 210 next week, and it'll be a straight up line with no resistance uh, whatsoever. Just keep going up 200, 300. 400 it might do a carvana on us remember carvana i was actually in that stock since 30 40 and and, and got scared out around the 60s and see it might do a carvana on us right straight up and now it's kind of holding up who knows this could be a bull flag and then it goes straight up some more you know if you look at the earnings here at the bottom you see carvana don't even make money but whatever it's going straight up all right so um that was Peloton, and I wanted to talk about DraftKings. I'm in DraftKings as well. I'm not in the calls. If I was in the calls, I would be getting crushed right about now. This thing is still, still in a downtrend since they decided to get in on the action themselves and sell some stock. Yeah, they was like, hey, man, let's get, the, hey, be $65 a share, man. Let's sell our shit. Let's sell some more. You know, so they sold some, the insiders sold some, everybody made money, right? They wasn't expecting it to be, and the stock has been coming straight down since then. I actually thought it was going to hold. I thought it was going to hold a little bit. So what I am waiting for on this one is I'm looking for, let me see, let's really get down in on this. It's actually right here already. You know, I'm waiting, basically, I'm waiting for this thing. I'm waiting for a green day. I'm waiting, I want to see a green day, right? This thing is down 237. I don't want to necessarily time the bottom. I want to see it, not a green day. I just want to see it turn green. And I think that might 
be the floor. Right where it's at right now could actually be the bottom. And you see that right on uh, support. Will it hold? I don't know. I was actually thinking it was going to be somewhere around here. Okay. So we got two floors to consider. I'm looking at the, uh, the let's pull up the minute chart. And you can see it kind of trying to bounce off of that, right? It's straight down, straight down. Now we're finally getting some. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, I think I want to try to get back in when it turns green. Okay. Because it's been red ever since the insiders and the stock decided to sell. <laughs> okay. So um, I remember when that happened with Tesla, it was like, bye, bye, bye. It was crazy. <laughs> people, was, people just, you know, totally bought, bought that sale and then it rode it up thousands, thousands of points. But it doesn't look like that's happening with uh, DraftKings. But it was a straight up move. And look, look, look how that went, right? Um, think about peloton right so this was actually nice i, I like the pattern there that's exactly what it's supposed to do it's a, this is a bull flag and then it gave you some more it gave you the, the the flag post on the other side that's exactly what's supposed to do so maybe a little bit of sideways action and then we get another jump to the upside um i'm still in it i'm actually looking to maybe get longer so i'm just waiting to for all the weak hands to to jump out but um it could Let me pull up the weekly, you know, I mean, I don't think it's going down there, but you never know. You never know. You know, maybe ah, I'm even going to measure. Just kind of keep an eye out at those two uh, resistances, those two levels of support. That's what I'm looking at. And we'll draw some more lines if it decides to go through that. You can see the stochastic is totally oversold, but it's still like. It's trying to like dig a hole in my screen, trying to go even lower. I want to see it come up over this blue line and I want to see that slow and fast just start to spread apart. Right. But once it does that, it's probably already going to be up another three, three dollars or so. So uh, I'm just keeping an eye on that. Right. It's, it's the lowest it's ever been. Look what happened here. Look at the move. Right. Look what happened here. Look at the move. So we might be able to get the same opportunity once this thing decides to go to the upside I think I'm just looking at that looking at that if you look at the the moves you can even see they all coincide with uh, with a spike in volume right you see that spike in volume so that's another thing to look out for all right so that's it man that's the three things that the three stocks that everybody's kind of looking at um, VIX is down is it still down 20 four cents but it's still holding 27 28 ish you know it's still holding I, I look at this let's clear all the lines let's look let's start from scratch here and right i'm still just looking at that and i'm looking at that what do you think i'm drawing here right i'm drawing higher lows you know so even though we're down today um we still kind of got a higher low um we still got we also got lower highs so this thing is in some kind of you know one of these numbers no i won't draw the thing right it's kind of like could be a if it's it's a wedge you know i don't know it's kind of i don't know if it's ascending or descending but it's a wedge so it's gonna break out and possibly break out hard Right, hard, a hard breakout, not just, I don't know, it could do one of these things, what it's doing. But if you look at this, man, it just looks like it doesn't know what to do. It looks like it don't know what to do. Look at the moving averages. The slow one is even, the fast one is kind of chopped up. But, uh, you know, it looks like it's trying to, I don't know, It's gonna. this is a decision point, you could tell. I'm just looking at the moving averages now, and it's right there. Are you going to break out higher, or are you just going to start to fade lower? I personally think it stays the same or goes higher because every day we're doing this is another day that we're closer to the election, right? Or maybe the market's glad that, you know, uncertainty is about to be out the picture. But I don't know. That's what I want to show you. We're going to look at one more chart, and it's the SPY. Now, we notice that Biden is leading in polls. And even in the swing states, man, he's it's looking like it's going to be a mask <laughs> okay but nobody can really call that because we know what happened last election when hillary was up 10 points in the polls she damn near got blown out it's like why huh what 
What the hell is happening? I remember watching the election. It was like, oh, this is Trump. This is going to Trump. North Carolina Trump. Ohio Trump. I'm like, what? Huh? What? What? You know? Market tank thousand points. Futures just kind of crashed overnight. And then once they realized taxes was going to, you know, hey, this could be a good thing. The market rallied ever since then. So when I pull up, I want to pull up the the monthly when Trump actually won. And um, zoom in right here. Right. So let's go to here. This is 17. This is if you look right here, you can see that's the low. Right. The market was going down. And right here is when it, you know, it just the, the Trump rally. Remember the Trump rally? Remember those words? And it came straight up. I mean, 35. It was a great year. Right. 2017 was a great year. And then you can see it start getting turbulence. What got introduced to, to start all of this turbulence? Hmm. Trade war. <laughs> right. That's what. And then it was up, down, up, down. And then we come to coming back out. Why? Because we have a deal. Phase one, phase two. Right. So now we're markets starting to gain some stability. And then boom. Virus. <laughs> right, boom, we're back up. Then now we're back up to the top, which I still think is unbelievable, totally incredible. Why are we here? 15 million people out of a job. Airlines laying off like crazy. Movie theaters shutting down permanently. <laughs> Cruise lines done. <laughs> just unbelievable. It's just craziness out there. You know what? Pull up Google Files for Bankruptcy. Files for bankruptcy and watch all the companies come out. It's it's really bad. It's bad out there. This is why we need stimulus. We need it. I just don't think it's gonna happen. I just I think every day that we get closer to election is one day less of a chance that's gonna happen. My opinion. But you know, if it happens, the market, yes, it will rip. It will rip. I'm totally just gonna buy SPX calls, right? And go like I'm just gonna I don't even think it's going to be a sell the news kind of thing. I think it's just going to rip. And it's, cause it's also going to make, I think, increase the odds of Trump winning, possibly. You know, so, uh, yeah. So, anyway, since we all expecting it, it's the reason why the market's up today. That's what makes me think it's not going to happen as well. You know, so, uh, oh, okay. That's what I want. Back to, yeah, I'm, I'm totally getting off focus. All right, so here we are. The, you know, we got the rally, what is it, right here, because of taxes, right? He lowered the corporate taxes, and, you know, everything's just going great, straight up. Well, now Biden gets in, and he raises the taxes. Don't we got to kind of correct some of this move? You know, something, shouldn't we see maybe the opposite of this for a little bit? Not the whole thing, but shouldn't we, you know, I, I just can't see us still ripping. So... The closer that we get closer to election, that the market actually believes that there's going to be some kind of tax increase in a blue wave. It's got to be a sell off. You figure it's got to be because when it was a red wave, well, it wasn't a red wave. But you know what I'm saying? When he won, it it was we rallied like crazy. We, we just, it was, you know, so it seemed like some of that's got to come off. You know, so anyway, it's just my thinking. It's just Dre Trades thinking. And it, it makes me nervous. And it probably makes everybody else nervous. Not today, man. The market's actually, it's S&P. Look, it's up 0.62. It's actually, you know, my buying whole portfolio is killing it. My Because I'm not, I'm in all, all little stocks that, uh, you know, that we are in. You know, all of these. Let me pull up the, I just refreshed it, right? I'm not in those. I'm in all these other stocks. So my buy and hold portfolio is killing it. Look at in, look at Nvidia. Yeah, I got to upgrade today. But mm, just these four stocks. Wow, not four. You know, wow. But it's it's turning out to be a pretty good day. I'm sorry, I I I I messed up my 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 trade. I'm just I'm just not feeling the <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just not feeling the Apple trade. But you know, we've been flipping and flopping. We've been this this side. If I could draw a line, it would be kind of like that. This side's green today. That's red. Tomorrow, these will be green. These will be red. Then the next day, these, maybe they all red. The next day, they all green. And then the next day, these are green. And then these are red. The next day, these are red. And these are green. 
weird, right? Just weird. So uh, anyway, just be careful. Just be careful, okay? And uh, VIX is high, man. Even though we're kind of down for the day, I'll end it on the VIX on the VIX note. Even though we're kind of down for the day, one percent, just twenty eight cents on the VIX. We're still overall we're high. It's twenty seven point sixty eight. Let's, let's just call it twenty eight. We round it to twenty eight. That's that's high. So that means you know anything could pop off. So all right. So there's the video. Hey, if you're watching me this long, that means you like the video. So I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. Uh, what, what what's that? All the things. Oh yeah, hit the subscribe button and what is it? The like, the like button. Hit that like button so we could get some um, some views. Yeah, and uh, you know help YouTube say, hey man, this guy that hardly gets no views, that has no ads on it. That's why, you know, why would Google put me out there if they're not gonna make money off my videos? So I need you guys to say, hey man, this guy is the shit. I like it, I hit the bell, I subscribe, I watch the whole thing. You gotta give him some play. <laughs> Even though you're not gonna make money off of him, you know? So anyway, that's our feel. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'm Dre, Dre Trades. I'm on Twitter, Dre Trades, Instagram, Dre Trades, and right here, Dre Trades too. I'll talk to you later, peace. <laughs> Dre Trades here. It is a uh, Wednesday. I don't know what the fuck day it is.